Good morning, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. It's a cold morning this morning. I, honestly, it's the first time in uh, Texas that I have felt like it's winter. So, uh, cold hands, just chilly this morning. Uh, anyway, uh, just uh, here to kind of see what I can capture this morning. I was really looking for some kind of, almost like pre-winter kind of image. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna come up with, but uh, we'll see. I don't know about that sky. I'm, I mean, there's some, uh, definitely some high clouds, uh, no wind, uh, pretty good conditions for a good sky, but uh, there's also some low clouds or, or at least medium level clouds. So uh, that could block some of the uh, color. We'll see though. I think it'll probably be okay. Really capture some image. Uh, not sure what my composition is gonna be yet, but uh, better get looking. Yeah, you know, when everything's dead like this, I think, uh, you know, the key to, to winter photography, and especially winter photography without snow is, is often not very exciting, but I, I think it can be exciting. So I, I think the key is to kind of look for, uh, you know, items like this uh, that might, uh, might add some mystique to your image. So kind of put the, uh, the viewer uh, in your place where you're at, you know, in, in, this, uh, in this moment. Thinking about some kind of composition where I include this branch kind of coming out, maybe over the city, maybe a 5-4 aspect ratio. Yeah, something like that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, this could be a little bit more interesting foreground. I'm not sure about the balance. Seems like I've, I've really got some interest in the lower third left corner, but unless I had some light or something out here in this kind of lower right, upper right third, I don't know. Always best to move, just keep moving and looking and just a couple of feet one way or the other could be the difference between a balanced image and a, and a not so balanced image or something that pulls the viewer in or something that doesn't. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to capture this. I gotta get set up. Honestly, I'm just happy to be out shooting. Well, I got my composition uh, lined up, but and the uh, well, the sky came in. It was pretty spectacular. Um, I mean. Spectacular may be a strong word, but it was definitely very, uh, very interesting sky. I, uh, I didn't get down here in time uh, to really set up and get the composition that, are, that I really wanted. So I, I just felt rushed with my composition. I think it's okay. Interesting foreground, uh, great sky. Um, not kind of, not really that wintry image I was thinking this morning, but that's kind of hard to capture without snow anyway. But uh, uh, nevertheless, I, I think, uh, you know, really sometimes you just got to go where the light is and that's where the light was. And, you know, I was really struggling to, uh, to get a composition on that. So in such a, such a short moment, uh, the elements were all here for a good composition, but whether I was able to line it up and make it happen, uh, is yet to be seen. So we'll take a look at those images here in a few minutes. But, uh, anyway, uh, a couple, two different compositions, one with the foreground here and, uh, the other one, I just kind of kind of a, it's a little bit wider here on this one in the other composition I kind of uh, cropped in a little bit more uh, zoomed in a little bit more to uh, kind of compress the scene a little bit so somewhere between uh, I don't know I think it was probably 19 and probably 22 mils somewhere around there or maybe 14 take a look 
Instead of guessing, I'll just look. Yeah, it looks like I had one, I kind of zoomed in on a 21 mil, and the other one with much more color at 20 mil. So I don't know if you can really see that, but just a difference of one millimeter and a little shift in direction can make a significant change in your image. Uh, I'm gonna break out a, a neutral density filter and kind of, uh, uh, kind of darken down that sky a little bit. And, uh, and I'll just see what kind of image I can come up with here. Exciting morning this morning, very exciting. It's kind of a kind of the uh, the second light here after the pre-dawn when the sun is just right on the horizon. So let's see what I can do with that. I think the pre the pre-dawn image is going to be better. It's hard to beat those twilight colors. I am going to use a reverse grad. It's a uh, three-stop reverse grad. Actually, sniper photography, Glenn. Uh, you know, I had never considered these before until uh, after I had spoken to you about them. And uh, so this is my first time trying one. I've always used regular uh, filters, so regular neutral density filters. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. But actually, this is perfect for this sky because I really need to, to really kind of darken down the, the mid area of the sky. I think that filter really adds some drama to this, to this uh, image. I'll well, see when I get back in post processing. It may be a bit too dark three stop on that, so I have to pick up uh, another one of these and maybe maybe about two stops. Yeah, we'll see. While I wait to see what the light does, I did bring my, uh, my Nikon FE, and uh, I just, uh, just refurbished that, just finished that yesterday, and actually got a roll of film that I'm going to be, actually these images here will probably be on that roll, but uh, I'm going to send this roll when I finish it, roll of 36 exposures, Kodak 200 speed, and uh, I'm going to send that into the dark room and get that developed and get those images scanned in and and uh, kind of see what uh, everything looks like, make sure everything's okay. I think I got the, uh, uh, the back of the camera sealed up pretty good, so I'm not gonna get any light leaks and uh, get any uh, accidental exposure of my film. So I'm expecting everything to come out, to come out fine. fine. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna post that video, but if, uh, if I do, you'll see it. I'll put a link to that here. Just a quick, uh, I really wasn't planning on filming the the cleanup of that camera, but nevertheless, I did, so. 
you know, I might pull my Nikon FE out here in a second and maybe uh, capture a few images with it. I need to finish out that roll so I can send it into the dark room. Yeah, That's my Nikon FE here. I, when I was a teenager, I, I had this exact model and I always loved this camera. And so all I have with it at the moment is a 50 millimeter lens. So let's see what I could capture with this this morning. Yep, shooting a 200 uh, Canon, or excuse me, uh, Kodak Gold. Ah, I can't wait to see how these come out. You know, it reminds me of, you know, film days and, you know, how you had to wait to get your film developed. And, but I think, I don't know, this is kind of some of the excitement, you know. Um, it's kind of waiting and, you know, sending your images out and having them developed and, you know, get, getting them back and how excited. I, I remember how excited I was when I got them, got them back and I could just thumb through them and, ah, oh, wow. So... I don't know, there's something to be said about uh, film photography too. Yeah. But you know, truly, it's like any art. It's just a different form, and but it's an art nonetheless. these two trees here are actually these three trees and uh, I'm gonna try to compose that need to switch to about f8 to do that well focusing is a little bit harder on this but you can find a branch and then kind of just go back and forth it kind of splits the branch and uh, once you get it in focus, that branch is complete again. Well, this is probably, it's definitely more along the lines of the image I was really looking for this morning, which is a, <clears throat> kind of a, the pre-snow winter image. And uh, this definitely lets you know. That, I mean, this image just speaks that, hey, winter's coming. Snow is coming. So I'm shooting this at f8 at about uh, 80 and 1 80th of shutter speed. Let's see, I should do it using my timer. That's it. Can't look on the back of my LCD. Yep, it's uh, not showing me anything. So, gotta wait, gotta wait till this image comes back. All right, well, I guess that's it. So, uh, I'm gonna pack up and uh, head out. But uh, hey, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And, uh, you know, maybe leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail.